Okay, we are starting introduction of vitamin D. Vitamin D is again a fat soluble vitamin. It is a fat soluble vitamin and it can also be termed as anti rickets vitamin. Vitamin D is a group of sac steroids. Those steroids having one ring among four rings is open in vitamin D. So all those compounds having one ring open and which ring? B ring. Now we will recall your course 309 when we were talking about cholesterol. Cholesterol having four rings and vitamin D is basically deriving from cholesterol therefore the chemical moiety is again known as on the ring structure is known as cyclopentanophenyl green ring structure cyclopentanophenyl green ring structure and vitamin D is a sac steroid which is containing four rings resembling cholesterol structure but the one ring that is B the ring structures are divided into A, B, C and D the B one is open therefore we term it as sac steroid and it is having hormone like action it is having hormone like action this vitamin, uh, fat soluble vitamin is unique in the sense that it can synthesize in the body. It can synthesize in the body when body is exposed to sunlight. So therefore some books and some uh, literature can also term this vitamin as a sunshine vitamin. Sunshine vitamin. It is also naturally available and occurring in the food and the main function of vitamin D is to increase the absorption of calcium from intestine. Along with calcium, it also facilitates the absorption of magnesium, phosphate and many other biological effects many other biological effects can be seen or associated with vitamin D like vitamin A, vitamin D is also having many different types we are not discussing all the types but the two major physiologically important types are D2 and D3 the sources are different and therefore their precursor name is also different. Their sources are different so therefore their names are also different. D2 is arboesterol, arboesterol which is found or dried from plant source while the second one that is D3 is 7D hydrocholesterol. 7D hydrocholesterol. This is again both albuterol and 7D hydrocholesterol are not the active form. These are pro vitamin D or precursor of vitamin D or preliminary form of vitamin D and the source of 7 hydro 7 hydro cholesterol which is D3 is animal means we can take from the animal as well as it is synthesized under your skin if we uh, discuss about and recruit about the structural characteristic of vitamin D both forms containing hydroxyl group at carbon number 3 
this is the first characteristic if we talk about or elucidate the chemical moiety so the hydroxyl group is present at carbon number 3 while two conjugated double bonds one is between carbon number 5 and 6 and second is between 7 and 8 carbon number 7 and 8 5 and 6 first conjugated double bond and second one is between 7 and 8 7 and 8 the third essential structural characteristic of vitamin D is that the hydrocarbon chain is present at carbon number 17. Now if we differentiate between vitamin D2 which is a plant oriented vitamin D and animal oriented vitamin D that is D3. So uh, Algocalciferol or algoesterol, algoesterol is the initial form. It is converted into, with the help of sunlight, into algocalciferol, which we will discuss in the next slide. Then D2 algocalciferol, it is synthesized by the plant, mainly by the irradiation of algoesterol. Is it clear? Algosterol is the preliminary or pro vitamin. So, with the help of sunlight or ultraviolet radiation, it is converted into algocalciferol. And another important thing that it is present in the plant, not all the plant are containing. It, it, it was first time isolated from a seaweed type plant which is called algor. E R G O T Argot. It was first isolated from a seaweed type plant called Argot. So, therefore, we termed it as vegetable origin. Okay. Third important point about uh, D2 vitamin is that it can not produce in the human body. It cannot produce in the human body. Now, come to D3. D3. The pro vitamin form is 7-D hydrocholesterol is made in large quantities in the skin when sunlight strikes the new skin or uncovered skin or bare skin. Okay? It is made in large quantities in the skin when sunlight strikes the bare skin. It can also be ingested from animal source. In humans and animals, cholesterol, which is the main precursor, present in the malpagian layer of epidermis, present in the malpagian layer of epidermis, converts into pro vitamin D3. I say the term cholesterol first, which is converted under the skin into pro vitamin D3. And what is the pro vitamin D3 for? 7D hydrocholesterol. And how this happens? With the help of ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet radiation. So now this clear.